everyone, it's Schematic Matt, and today we are going to talk about brachial artery and its terminal branches schematically. The brachial artery is a continuation of the axillary artery past the lower border of the teres major. It is the main supply of blood for the arm. The brachial artery gives rise to the following branches. The deep brachial artery, arteria profunda brachii. The deep brachial artery gives off anterior descending branch, which is radial collateral artery, arteria collateralis radialis, which anastomoses with radial recurrent artery, arteria recurrens radialis, a branch of radial artery. The deep brachial artery also gives off posterior descending branch, which is middle collateral artery. Arteria collateralis media, which anastomosis with interosseous recurrent artery. Arteria interossea recurrens, from posterior interosseous artery. Next branch of brachial artery is the superior ulnar collateral artery. Arteria collateralis ulnaris superior, which anastomosis with posterior ulnar recurrent artery. Arteria recurrens ulnaris posterior, branch of ulnar artery. And we have inferior ulnar collateral artery, arteria collateralis ulnaris inferior. This artery anastomosis with anterior ulnar recurrent artery, arteria recurrens ulnaris anterior, branch of ulnar artery. The brachial artery terminates by bifurcating into the ulnar and radial arteries. Now let's separately talk about these arteries. Ulnar artery. The branches of the ulnar artery are the ulnar recurrent artery, arteria recurrens ulnaris, gives off two branches, anterior and posterior. These branches run anteriorly and posteriorly of the medial epicondyle anastomosing with superior and inferior ulnar collateral arteries, superior with posterior one, inferior with anterior one. Next ulnar branch is the common interosseous artery, arteria interossea communis, which has a short trunk directed toward the interosseous membrane. At the proximal border of the membrane, it divides into two branches, Anterior interosseous artery passes along the anterior surface of the interosseous membrane. Posterior interosseous artery passes through the superior orifice of the interosseous membrane to the dorsal side, gives off interosseous recurrent artery and, as we already said, anastomosis with medial collateral artery from deep brachial artery. And next branch is the deep palmar branch. Ramus palmaris profundus, together with radial artery, participates in forming the deep palmar arch. Next terminal branch of brachial artery is radial artery. The branches of radial artery are the radial recurrent artery, arteria recurrens radialis, passes in the proximal direction toward the anterior surface of the lateral epicondyle where it anastomoses with the above-mentioned radial collateral artery from deep brachial artery. The superficial palmar branch, ramus palmaris superficialis, anastomoses with the end of the ulnar artery, participates in the formation of the superficial palmar arch. The terminal part of the radial artery anastomosis with the deep palmar branch of the ulnar artery and together they form deep palmar arch. Arterial supply to the hand begins with the ulnar and radial arteries. The ulnar artery gives rise to the deep palmar branch and continues laterally across the palm as the superficial palmar arch. The radial artery supplies branch to the thumb, the index finger, and to the superficial palmar arch. It then continues as the deep palmar arch. As a result, two arterial arches are formed: superficial palmar arch and deep palmar arch. 